Welcome back to Thomas Was Alone. Let's continue with the story. <gasps> A new one. John knew. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. Game day. Okay, so we've got a new character. A lanky fucker. Right. John, hello John. Hope he's better than Chris. This How are you guys doing today? Would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped. On the wrong side of these little dot things. <gasps> wow. Where did they come from, anyway? Yeah, where did they? I don't know. Okay. John needs to get there. Hmm. Easy. Ugh, water. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. I love the smell of awesome. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. Yeah, John, come on. Um, hmm. You say that, I actually have no idea. Uh, John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. Isn't John lovely? You could tell from the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. John has a mirror? Not too bad. Okay, so I think John is actually my favourite right now. <coughs> Chris is too fat to do anything. Thomas is too shy to talk to anyone. And John's just like, woohoo! Okay. John was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. It is important. Oh, hang on, have I... Oh, I think I mucked this up. I may have just mucked this up. Sorry, John. Ah. Oh. ...that he was seen to help the little guys. either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. Thomas loves John. Hmm. I may have sent Thomas off a bit too soon. Come back.
These tone levels aren't actually too bad, they're pretty easy, it's just... I was not been talking much, I've been trying to concentrate, but um, a bit fiddly, is all. But no, they're, they're alright, pretty easy, okay. The angry orange one was less immediately likeable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. See Chris, nobody likes you. Nobody likes you. You're too fat to even make that. Unbelievable. See, John, he's reliable. I know I can leave John right there. No problem. Ah, shit. Okay, well, I think the levels are starting to get harder now. Uh, I'll try and do this one. A floating target. This would require coordination. I'm liking John. Balance and timing. John, you got this. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Yeah, you know, that's John. He's casual. He's like, whatever. Come on, guys. Thomas is like, what are we doing? And Chris is like, I'm too fat. Okay. So. Let's just check out the level. Hmm. Maybe that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. Well, good for John. I'm glad he decided that. Chris, blimey, first time. Excellent. group process simple variations in size and strength. More complex configurations were inventable. As the error spread, these variations became increasingly extreme. So, <gasps> this was how Claire would die. Claire? What? No! She knew it would happen eventually. What? Why is Claire dying? She was rubbish at jumping. And she moved She's slowly. a big girl, but... She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. No! Crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. No, 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 Claire! It doesn't have to be like this. What? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. <gasps> it was at that moment that Claire realised she had superpowers. <gasps> Claire is Aquaman. Or Aquawoman. Woo! I got a big floating brick. You need a cape. There was no getting around that. You Cape couldn't be awesome. a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. Well, good for and, Claire. You know, floating in water, which was her superpower. Okay, guys. Well, we've uh, met two new people today. Uh, this game is actually turning out to be a lot more fun than I thought. I thought it was just going to be a simple puzzle game, but 
Nah, it's uh, brilliant. I'm going to leave it there, and we'll continue with John and Claire next time. See you then. <laughs>